Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to show you how to convert this old type of speaker into a wireless Bluetooth speakers. Now, before we do that, make sure your old speakers has this audio input or auxiliary input from the back, okay? Or sometimes they have it in the front. Once you can locate it, you can convert these into a Bluetooth wireless speakers. Let's talk about it right now. All right, so here we have two type of speaker that is older generation. It actually has ability to hook up to your iPod, but you know, that is an old, old generation type of uh, speakers. I don't think, and I'm not sure if anyone has iPod anymore, but I think it's still useful. If you do, you can still use that. However, I wanna convert these two speakers into a uh, Bluetooth wireless speakers. How do I do that? Well, you need to purchase something called a Bluetooth receiver. Sometimes it's known as the um, wireless audio adapter. So I have two types. This one is a small one. It runs on a uh, lithium battery, so you have to charge it first, and then you have to press a button to sync with your smartphone, and your smartphone acts as a transmitter. So it'll transmit the uh, audio from your smartphone, like I have a set of uh, music here, and transmit it to this receiver, and this receiver has a three and a half millimeter jack that can be connected to this uh, speaker here. You can see at the back, there is a three and a half millimeter jack input. So I plug that in and I should be able to play it. Let me show you right now. I already synced it with my uh, Bluetooth receiver. So something like this. And it's able to connect to your uh, speaker through a three and a half millimeter jack. So this one here, I right? connect to the back. So let me show you right now. I can connect to this uh, speaker so let me see if I can find the uh, device. And it should be, yeah, I can see it. This one is the um, MBTK35, okay? So this Bluetooth device. And then this Bluetooth device here is the ML200. I already uh, connect them to my smartphone. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that I actually can connect both of them at the same time. I'm not sure if I can play at the same time. Let's just have a look. And the cool part is that um, I could be anywhere, right? Just like any Bluetooth speaker, uh, control with your smartphone, once you sync it with this uh, Bluetooth receiver, right? I can turn on the volume and turn down the volume, right? And of course you can you know, try different music. Right, let me see, I can try this one. See that? It's pretty cool, eh? Just like any Bluetooth speaker, it now works really well. So you can see that an older technology should not be thrown away as long as you know what it can be used for. So now I can repurpose these speaker into a wireless Bluetooth speaker and I can bring it with me anywhere and I can enjoy my music from far away by controlling with my smartphone. So don't throw any speakers that has a audio input because you can convert that into a Bluetooth speakers, right? As long as you buy one of these uh, wireless Bluetooth receiver, it may look like this, or it may look like this as well. This one is a little bit special because it has RCA connection. Other than the three and a half millimeter jack, it also have the uh, RCA uh, input as well. So this is pretty neat, actually, this one. It's a bit bigger, but it works really well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. This is quite useful. Now your speakers that you thought cannot be used uh, wirelessly can now be used wirelessly. As long as you have the audio input in it, you can convert it into a wireless Bluetooth uh, speaker with the technology called the Bluetooth receiver. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. I'll talk to you soon, bye.